Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve McCarran. Ben Singer has the night off. First on Fox tonight, a Salem man says his deaf dog managed to catch an intruder breaking into their home. Thomas Lowell is in jail facing a long list of charges, including burglary, criminal mischief, and possession of meth. Police say he also violated his parole. KPTV's Kai Porter is here to explain how that dog that can't hear helped catch the suspected burglar. Kai? Steve, when the homeowner's dog, Bonnie, caught the intruder sneaking into the living room, she didn't bark or bite. She started playing with him. But the friendly Springer Spaniel proved she's still a good guard dog in her own special way. You know, he's given me reasons why he stole. He said he stole because he was hungry. And I said, then why didn't you steal food? Dan Strasser is talking about this guy, the suspected intruder he cornered at gunpoint in his garage. Dan says his dog, Bonnie, deserves all the credit. But Bonnie isn't your average guard dog. She's friendly and deaf. She smelled him because she does have a very good sense of smell. And she jumped up and got all excited thinking somebody was there to play. Dan heard Bonnie running around the living room. He got out of bed and went to check on her. I got probably about here and I just saw a guy running straight to there. Dan says the intruder bolted with his laptop. But instead of running out the back door where he came in, the burglar made a mistake. So when he bolted, I think in, in the con, just in the confusion, because as you can imagine, there's probably a lot going on in his mind. How do I get out of this place? He doesn't know it. It was dark. And so he just turned in here and ran through the kitchen. Dan grabbed his gun and followed the intruder into the garage. With no way out, the guy gave up. There was a lot of I'm sorry's, uh, you know, I mean, he, he starts talking about he wants to get home, he wants to see his kid, could I please let him go? I mean, all, all the stuff that you would do if you're caught and you don't want to go to jail. Cops showed up minutes later and arrested Thomas Lowell, something he may not have been expecting when he heard them knock at the front door. And the guy who's on the ground, he goes, who is it? I just thought, really? Who is it? <laughs> you, well, let me show you. Dan says he left the back door open at night so Bonnie could have access to the backyard. From now on, though, he plans to keep it locked. Reporting live, Kai Porter, the 10 o'clock news. Kai